Hello guys, Christina Marie here and welcome to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing what is probably my first haul video of 2016. As you've noticed, I don't do a lot of hauls on my channel anymore and while that is not by choice, it's also kind of by choice. I don't know. I think um, because I hadn't really focused on fully being a booktuber, you know, I had been doing makeup and stuff like that, I hadn't been putting money towards books. I had pretty much just been putting money towards like makeup and skincare and stuff like that. Now, this video, as you may notice the title, is not a regular book haul. This is in fact a library book haul. And you guys know how much I love my library. You know how important I feel that the library is. So I actually wanted to pay a little bit of an homage or pay some attention to the library because that's typically where I get most of my books at this point because I haven't been doing a lot of reading and because I hadn't been spending a lot of money on books. Now because I'm allowing my reading habits to be a little bit more organic, just because I have hauled these books doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to read them all. What it does mean is that I have given myself quite a few options to choose from as I decide what I want to read over the next few weeks. Now a lot of these books were interesting to me at the time that I checked them out. Some of them not so much anymore, but for the most part most of them I still want to read. I may not get around to them this time, but I am definitely looking forward to reading them in the near future. So let's go ahead and get on with the haul. So the first book that I picked up was actually a recommendation I want to say by Sam over at Novels and Nonsense and it is um, the Farseer series Assassin's Apprentice. This is by Robin Hobb. Uh, this is actually a fantasy book. Can you see the cover? This is actually a fantasy book that quite frankly isn't typically my cup of tea but Sam is so passionate about it. I figured I would at least pick it up from the library. It's not really going to harm me to do that. This is basically about apparently a guy who is a bastard son of a noble who is actually taken under his wing, taken under the wing of a devious king named King Shrewd who has him secretly trained in a certain skill to become an assassin and so this is his journey with that I guess. That's kind of like the brief Cliff Notes Christina version synopsis of it. Sounds really really interesting so I thought I'd pick it up. Then this next book of course this was kind of introduced to me by Jesse the Reader and this is the first book in the series in a series of unfortunate events. This is the first book called The Bad Beginning. So by Lemony Snicket who was also Daniel Handler. Um, I definitely want to see what this series is all about simply because Jesse is so passionate about it but so are a few other people. So I figured hey library let's check this out. If I hate it I haven't wasted any money on it. I don't think I will hate it. It'll just be something different. So the next book I picked up is one that I'm actually really excited for and it is called Uprooted. This is by Naomi Novik and this is about a young girl whose name I cannot pronounce who lives in a village where a dragon every 10 years takes a woman from the village to serve him over the course of those 10 years and the dragon kind of keeps the peace around the area. So the lead character whose name I cannot pronounce feels that her best friend is next in line to be taken so she wants to do everything that she can to protect her best friend from being taken. But actually it's not the best friend that the dragon is interested in. It is actually our main character. And so this is a story about kind of that situation and what happens from that point. I actually am really excited about this simply because it's something that I quite frankly haven't heard of before. It's apparently rooted in like a lot of folk story, kind of folk legend and apparently a grim fairy tale so to speak. So that kind of turned me on a little bit, a little bit, the grim fairy tale part. So we'll see. So this book is called All American Boys. It's by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley. And this is actually a book that is pretty prevalent, especially with today's social climate. Um, it deals with police brutality and racism, which quite frankly is my thing. Like I, I don't want to say I enjoy learning about that kind of stuff, but I continue to want to be enlightened and I continue to want to stay up to date on, you know, happenings in our culture, things that are relevant to my culture and to my people. And this seemed like a really, really interesting story because this is a story of a young black kid who gets beaten up, like hospitalized by a police officer who is white and a witness to it is his classmate who is white. It is his best friend's older brother, I believe, that is beating on the black kid. And it just takes this whole turn about what it means to 
be um, in a society that deals with police brutality and racism and I'm really really interested in reading this. So the next book I have is called The Forbidden Wish and this is by Jessica Curry. You guys may have already heard about this. This is actually a book that's kind of like I guess a Aladdin retelling. It's about a genie who is female in this particular sense and I guess there's a romantic element to it. Not really sure on what the story is fully about simply because I kind of don't want to be made aware of it because if it has anything to do with kind of like the Aladdin-esque feel, I want to be surprised. I want the retelling to obviously be something different than what I already know the story of Aladdin to be. And it's starting off on the right foot because it is a female genie. So I'm really excited about this one. Now the next few books I have are all part of the same series so I'm just going to kind of show them to you back to back. This is definitely um, a tribute to one specific author. The first book of the series I absolutely love. The second book I heard was not as great as the first and then the third book I kind of heard was not even that great. I heard the second and the third book should honestly have been one. But I'm going to give it a try and kind of get my own perspective on it. And so I have The Wicked Will Rise. This is by Daniel Page. Now I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Danielle Page. There are certain people I know that won't read her books because of her connection with James Frey. That's not my business. That's neither here nor there. I don't have a particular opinion on it. I honestly am somebody who can separate the work from the author. And I just, I liked the first book so I want to continue something that I like. So that's kind of where I'm, I'm, I am on this whole kind of deal. So I have The Wicked Will Rise. Then fortunately my library also had the novella so I got the Dorothy Must Die Stories, which is volume one, which contains these three stories, No Place Like Oz, The Witch Must Burn, and The Wizard Returns. It's a pretty hefty book, but it's in paperback, which is really cool. So, you know, nice and mobile and can stuff it in your bag and not have to worry about, you know, anything. But yeah, so I'm hopefully, I'm gonna be able to get to this. I have the Dorothy Must Die Stories Volume 2, which contain Heart of Tin, The Straw King, and Ruler of Beasts. This was a tad bit smaller than the Volume 1, but I like the cover, it's really cool. So I'm wondering if it's really kind of about these three characters, so the Tin Man, the Straw Dude, and the Lion. So that'll be interesting. And so my final book is, you guessed it, Yellow Brick War by Daniel Page. This is the third book in the Dorothy Must Die series. Apparently it's not a trilogy as one would have assumed, which is fine, you know, but it's kind of like, why, what are you doing? You know, especially considering how short the book is. Now I can't speak to the content of the book simply because I haven't read it but I can speak to what I've heard and I've heard that honestly book two and three should have been combined. And so that's the mindset that I'm going into this with is that when I read book two I should automatically go into book three and that's kind of how I feel when it comes to series. I usually like to read series when they're done because I don't like the waiting especially if I'm not going to like a book two. I have a very love-hate relationship when it comes to book twos of series simply because I always am a victim of that whole um, book to syndrome thing where everything is not, there, there's no real reason for a book two to exist or it's kind of like a mellowed out kind of a deal. There's no real dynamic that was in, um, to reflect the dynamic that was in book one or to reflect the, you know, culmination in book three. Book two always suffers. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens from book two to three in this series. I, I hold no high hopes, but we'll really honestly see. And so that is my library haul. Those are all the books that I got from my local library. Like I said, there is no guarantee that I'm gonna get to all of these. I definitely wanna get to Uprooted. I feel like Uprooted is the book out of all of these that I'm super excited for, followed by All American Boys. Um, we'll see which one I'm gonna read first. I might read the Lemony Snicket book first because it's the shortest and I feel like I'll make the quickest progress. Why did I hang on that word? Progress with that one of, um, as opposed to the others. I do wanna read Jessica Curry. I might just go ahead and buy that one simply because the cover is absolutely beautiful, but we'll see. These are the books. We will see how things go. You will know what I did when I film my April wrap up later this month, early May. So that is it for this video. I wanted to film, of course, in sunlight. I apologize if I look super, super shiny, but it is hot today. And you know, I'm an oily girl. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up comment down below with if your opinions on any of these books if you've read any of them before make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more videos from this girl and i will see you guys in my next one bye